When using scatter plots to model two variable data, it's important to know how to describe the relationships that we are graphing. One such method is to describe the independent variable increasing and what its effect will be on the dependent, such as as the independent variable increases, the dependent variable either increases or decreases. So let's take a look at an example where the independent is age and the dependent is height. Now if we're talking about a child who's still growing, we would assume that as the age increases, the height of the child will also increase, as we can see in the scatter plot. Describing the relationship might also involve whether the data is rising or falling to the right. And in this case, we can see that the data is rising to the right. We would then look to see whether the data has a strong or weak relationship. And in this case, we can see it's pretty tight to the line of best fit, so that would indicate a strong relationship. We can then also speak in terms of positive or negative. If rising to the right, we suggest it's a positive trend. If it's falling to the right, it would be a negative trend. So in this case, we have a positive relationship. And finally, we want to know whether this is a linear relationship, for example, following a line of best fit, or a non-linear relationship, such as following a curve. So in this case, it's pretty clear that we have a strong, positive, linear relationship. Let's look at another example where the independent variable is distance traveled and the dependent variable is fuel remaining in a gas tank. So again, describing this relationship might include suggesting that as distance traveled increases, the fuel remaining will decrease, as we can see in the scatter plot shown to the left. We could also say that the data is falling to the right. And again, this relationship seems to be strong since the data is very tight to the line of best fit. The data is falling to the right, so that would be a negative trend. And the data appears to follow a line rather than a curve, so we would call that a linear relationship. So we have a strong negative linear relationship in this example. If we think back to the candle burning three act math task that we referenced in a, the previous video, we'll also notice that as time in minutes increases, the height in centimeters will decrease as the candle burns down. It appears that the data is falling to the right. And we would classify this as a strong negative linear relationship. 